Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite fragrances to wear in the office. Um, so these are going to be fragrances that are very easy to wear, not too complex, not going to offend anybody. Um, there might be one or two in here that I would say limit the sprays on. Um, but yeah, let's go get, let's go ahead and get started. Um, my first one is going to be Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Very clean, fresh out the shower fragrance. Um, if you just want that aroma of just got out the shower, definitely go ahead and get Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. Um, probably one of the best ones, one of the easier ones of the ones I have to wear to the office. Um, next one is going to be one that projects loudly on my skin. So this one I do have to limit the sprays to one or two when I do wear it. Um, even though it sits closer to the skin, it just happens to project on my skin. It's going to be Savage Over the Part Plum. Very easy to wear. You can see the dent on it also. Um, just projects too loudly on my skin. I've had this bottle for a while now, but uh, I would say very easy to wear. A lot of people like it. Compliment getter. Um, if it performs too loudly, I would say go ahead and test it on yourself. Limit the sprays. Next one is going to be our Galan fragrance. It's going to be Loam Ideal Intense. Definitely get your hands on this one. Um, I actually got my hands on Loam Ideal, I believe it was EDT's clone. That made me go ahead and I, that's why I bought this one, just because I love the clone of the regular one so much. I heard this one, the Intense was way better. So I went ahead and sold the clone. I ended up getting the actual bottle of Gerlon's Ideal Intense. Um, definitely worth the money. Didn't know if it was going to be one of those that I really enjoyed or not. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite ones to wear to the office. Next one is going to be one of the most obvious, or there's two in here that are very obvious fragrances to wear to the office. It's going to be Dior Homme 2020. So, I was in between the Sport and 2020. I ended up going with 2020. Now it's kind of hard for me to pull the trigger on the Sport just because I have one. I believe it would have been the same thing if I would have bought the Orom Sport 2021. I would have probably not gotten 2020. Um, that's just my opinion. I know some people say that the Orom Sport has more character to it compared to this one. Um, but I really do enjoy this, wearing this one. I haven't had it for too long, but there's a pretty decent, pretty decent on there. Again, sorry about the background noise, it's just uh, the dogs playing. Uh, but yeah, next one is gonna be another one that's very obvious. Um, it's going to be Prada Lone. Not the Intense, just the normal one. Um, really good, kind of redundant to have the Aroma Intense and Prada Lone, in my opinion. Um, dry Down is different. Out of the two, I'm not sure which I prefer, but let's say you're just trying to be as diverse as possible to the office. I believe that Prada Lone and the Aroma Intense are just too similar um, compared to everything else that I do have uh, for the video. Um, that's why I didn't mention the Aurum Intense in this video, um, even though it's one I do wear a lot. So next one is going to be another Guerlain fragrance. This is going to be uh, L'Instant. So I believe this is the reformulated EDT. Um, not too sure. I know there's a reformulation thing going on that people don't like the new ones. Um, but I definitely say this one is still worth the money. I don't know what the original one smelled like. At first, I didn't know how I felt about this fragrance until I let the dry down happen. Then I fell in love with it, wore it for a few days straight. Um, and the last one is going to be Pasha de Cartier's Parfum. This is definitely my favorite one to wear to the office. Uh, very thick aroma. Um, so I'm careful with the sprays on this one. Just because I don't want to choke anybody out of on me, but 
really good fragrance to wear, especially to the office. Sit in a, you know, I just sit in my scent bubble pretty much all day. I don't get tired of this one. Um, but yep, these are my favorite fragrances that are not clones to get or to wear to the office. Um, if you haven't already watched the home video of the ones I do, the clones I like going to the office, make sure to check that out. Um, if you guys agree or disagree with me um, on which is, these weren't in order, but if you guys think there's better recommendations, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, and have a good one, guys.